Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and next in our series about what every maker should have is this nice little kit of uh, six soldering aids. Uh, we'll um, go step by step through them, what you can use them for. Let's take uh, the first one here. Uh, with this you can uh, hold uh, chips down or when you desolder uh, chips or components you can uh, lift them up and they have uh, two different sized well kind of spade tips and the second one you can see here down below that this is also useful for desoldering to uh, lift or lever uh, ICs or uh, capacitors or any other components out when you uh, desolder them and on the other side you have a kind of a uh, fork shaft or forked shaft and uh, with that way you can uh, bend uh, component wires uh, around. Uh, the next two parts have on the one side um, some little brushes. Uh, one is out of brass and one of uh, steel uh, for cleaning up uh, heavily oxidized uh, surfaces and on the other side you have uh, on one there is a uh, knife and on the other one there is a scraper also for uh, scraping off um, any corrosions or any uh, thing that is uh, uh, on, on your uh, PCB board or something else uh, which you want to scrape off. And uh, next one uh, is a tool with two little uh, hooks, also useful for removing uh, components. And the last one has two different uh, Rima uh, tips uh, so that um, you can open uh, or widen uh, holes uh, with them. Uh, one has a circular uh, reamer tip and the other one has a uh, four-sided um, angled uh, reamer tip. So anyway, uh, these are not super high quality professional use heavy duty tools. Uh, the reason is we, we have the philosophy that for hobbyists used, um, the cheapest tools that do the work uh, is what we offer. Uh, because if you want to buy these in, in professional, um, for professional use, then you will pay five or ten times the amount of uh, this little kit, which is just a few dollars. And if one of the tips or one of the uh, tools uh, breaks, just buy a new kit. I, I think it doesn't make sense uh, to spend a whole lot of money uh, to get professional uh, tools um, when you only use them a few times. And so that will be it for this uh, little soldering aid kit. Uh, on the left side, you can read again um, uh, what the different tips are for and well that was it I uh, hope you liked it if you have alternatives or suggestions for other tools that every maker should have in his hobby lab then just leave us a note uh, go to our forum or leave a comment down below in the YouTube comments that was it for today so thanks a lot and until next time bye from Kanka Labs